Minister of Tourism, Culture and the Arts Randall Mitchell says he's working to ensure Trinidad and Tobago's carnival remains at the forefront of the global carnival landscape. This following the announcement by Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley that Carnival 2021 is cancelled. In a release, Minister Mitchell said over the past few weeks, the ministry has been in discussions with key carnival stakeholders and the National Carnival Commission. During these meetings, he said it was clear that there is need for Trinidad and Tobago to retain its place on the international carnival calendar to ensure future economic and social benefits and to solidify our position as the home of carnival. And the National Carnival Commission says it will work closely with its stakeholders, including the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and the Arts, to restructure and innovate Carnival 2021 and its many events. Chief Executive Officer of the NCC, Colin Lucas, says the organization is optimistic that it can have meaningful discourse and explore viable ways of digitally promoting the festival while safeguarding both its sustainability and the nation's health and well-being. He says the NCC will look at how they can still celebrate Carnival beyond the scope of a purely physical event and provide avenues for many of the festival's industries and members to grow and develop during this challenging time. Meanwhile, the leader of popular Carnival band Caesar's Army says streaming pre-packaged shows may be the way to go in 2021. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley announced the cancellation of the 2020 Carnival on Monday, a move that will have economic implications for the multi-million dollar industry. Caesar's Army Band leader Jules Sobion is among those pondering the possible impact of the cancellation. And he says the government's decision was expected. That the decision was uh, anticipated. Um, the Honorable Prime Minister has a sole responsibility to all citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. And we are in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, there's mm -hmm. no vaccine, there's no cure. Yes. It is not under control. So uh, I believe that was the decision to be made and it was anticipated. During his interview on the Now Morning Show today, he said Trinidad and Tobago can still create revenue through Carnival by pay-per-view pre-recorded shows. With the ability to package something and put it online on a streaming service, and you're paying $10, let's say US, for example, you have a space, you're recording the elements of the culture in a, in a wonderful package, and you're putting it out there for sale. So you may actually be able to say incur revenue for 50,000 people once the packages of quality, once the packages of substance, um, substantial content.